all right so let's do the setup for the uh, database so if you go to database dot dot which we have in this okay we don't have this database so let me just create new uh, database file so uh, database dot dot so let me edit in git also all right so we have the database dot dot now to implement this let me just go back to this file and as you can see we have added this dependency before now we are going to use it and first we need to create table so i'm just going to copy this don't worry let i'll explain to you one by one so let me remove the comment you can read it if you want and this file name you can give any name let me just give it to database dot dot we will get this error don't worry let me remove this as well so this is the table structure that we want so in our case our table name will be not and yeah so moore or drift has you know their own object so we can't create like directly you know int or double so you will have to use this kind of structure and here you can uh, give you know what you call uh, condition also with maximum line and minimum length and all so we don't want that let me remove it and you can also give column name for this uh, table so let's skip this all right so we have it title then we also need description okay and uh priority i guess then we also need uh, color as well uh, this is something which we will explain later for description and title we need this for to do and yeah so this column name you can give it like description or something like that all right so this is the five column that we need and you can remove this this is category i can it's a different table we don't want that you can delete this whole thing all right so here you will have to pass whatever table you have defined so in our case we have only note so you can copy and paste it right here and our database name will be app database all right so that's all guys so this is how you create table and this is how you defined uh, uh, database so in our case drift database then table you can you will have to pass table here all right next so next if you come back here we have uh, the uh, we have to generate the code so let me just copy this uh, command all right so what this will do this will generate a code and it will fix this issue which we are getting at the top all right so make sure you are in project directory and paste it here and then run this command all right so yeah so this command is uh, basically coming from the pay, uh, package which we have added if you remember before we have added this build runner and drift dev so this is doing uh, task behind the scene so yeah so it will generate it will take some time to uh, generate this database dot g dot dot so yeah so once it is generated then we can use uh, you know all this uh, database operation like insert delete and all with help of this uh, generated class all right so i think it is finished now almost so once it is finished you should get one more file here that is database.g.dot dot dot. and if i refresh it now where is that yeah so as you can see we have database.g.dot dot dot. i'm also going to add this in git uh, you don't have to do anything so that you can get it in later video so if you open this file you can get uh, four class i believe so yeah uh, that is not data make sure you remember this we are going to use in later video so not companion not tabled and this is the database un uh, underscore dollar database all right so come back to this video now let's go back to this and continue where we are so yeah you can see this is how you can create a database you just have to call this open connection let me just move this and paste this here so open connection we are not using it anyway for now so let me just import this error it's coming from path provider and io dot io then native is coming from drift import this and now p we will have to import path all right so go back on top and import this okay so we have this function now we will have to call this function now if you come back here if you come a little bit down here you can see we are extending minus uh, my database right yeah uh, underscore my database so you will have to do the same you just come here and extend instead of my database it is going to be your database okay sorry uh, let me just cut this all right my database and here you will have to overwrite the function that is uh, we have uh, one missing already that is what is that uh, yeah schema version all right so what we are going to do is i'm just going to 
paste this whole code which is inside this body so enter this and paste it okay you can remove this and obviously this my database is app database remove this as well yeah that's all you need and now here uh let's just keep it for now all right so this is uh how we can create database now if you come back to main dot dot uh, let's just make this small all right make it small uh, before we returning material we are going to do one more here a wrap with widget and we are going to give provider all right provider and here we have to pass parameter create and one more here we will have to pass app database okay so now let me just get this our app here all right the moment i run the app actually it's running in the background so when i run the app all right so it will come here and it will go to app database which will come here then inside that we are calling open connection then we are creating database called db.sqlite all right so this is how we are creating database and since we don't have any ui you know change so it will be still same but internally database has been created and if you want to see that you can also check from here yeah. let me just delete this what just happened uh oops for some reason it is not coming i don't know this android series has some problem but yeah a database has been created right so now uh let's go back to our not list page here right so now what we'll do in the next video we'll try to fetch uh, the notes of course it is empty uh, right now so but we will try to fetch and uh, see what is uh, happening there all right so i guess see you in the next one